so basically we were working with the um, two most important uh, pests uh, that a farmer will have in winter wheat in Montana in the Great Plain regions. Uh, from the weeds pers perspective is G grass or downy brome. From the insect perspective is uh, the wheat stem sawfly. And we're trying to figure out how we make joint management recommendations, taking into account not just the direct interaction between the pest and the crop, but the indirect interaction that one pest have on the other group and through it on the crop and trying to maximize a solution, which basically end, end being you need to find trade off. You cannot maximize both solutions and depending on the relative abundance of the pest, that's where you make uh, the best recommendation. We were able to uh, prove that yes, there are interactions between these two pest groups that the, uh, the uh, uh, which the sawfly has a certain behavioral pattern that is changed under the presence of cheatgrass or the weed um, and that when you make a management recommendation it depends on the relative abundance of the pest. For example, if you have no cheatgrass or very low uh, weed uh, pressure then you should be targeting your Whitstem sawfly with a sawfly tolerant variety. Now, as uh, the weed pressure increases, then you need to start incorporating that into your system uh, because if you increase your seeding rate by having interspecific competition, you lose the, the control of the Whitstem sawfly and you start getting too many weeds. So you need to change varieties into a draw tolerant variety, a more competitive variety towards controlling the weeds. So the idea was that uh, you should be focusing on the different weed species uh, uh, and then perhaps controlling the chicas for a few years. Once you manage that seed bank, then start shifting your focus into managing the weeds. So it's a, it was most of, more of a temporal dynamic of how you control one pest or you target one pest and then the other pest depending on the relative abundance. This was a really interdisciplinary study. It started with a, an entomologist and with scientist problem, but we figured out that we cannot solve it by ourselves. And that's when we brought into the team our grad student, uh, who's actually a PhD student from the Stats Department and a, a faculty from the Stats Department as well. And they've uh, combined basically um, a structural equation modeling with what is called an annihilation technique, an evasion approach. So the idea was to uh, solve many equations that will uh, explain the direct and indirect relationship between management practices and pests, um, and then solve them all together. And to do that, uh, we use this patient's uh, approach basically. In terms of the variables we were uh, considering, we were having uh, the presence of the uh, or the relative abundance of the wheat stem sawfly, the presence of parasitoids, the relative abundance of chicras, the uh, crop variety and the crop seeding rate. So there were quite a lot of variables and at the same time we also were considering um, the presence of pathogens. Uh, now a major problem that we have in, in our modeling exercise is was to make the, the models converge. It was pretty easy to set all the uh, relationship in a, in a board and maybe even establish some equations that will make those relationships work. But now using the information to have a model that will actually converge and you know get uh, logical results that we can then uh, show to farmers, that was a big issue. So. And I think actually farmers know that from a long time and because we are the ones who come with a you know, single perspective lens. I use my entomology hat or my wheat scientist hat and I will be talking about certain pests. But when a farmer sees a problem, uh, they start to combine all this information together. It's like, well, you know, is this a nutrient deficiency? Is this a pathogen? Is the crop that is becoming a little bit weak? Uh, going to be more prone to be invaded by weeds? Are these weeds going to bring some more insects? Do I need to manage? How much it will cost? Do I need to prevent? So they actually in tune to this idea of a multivariate <laughs> analysis. They may not express it in the, form, in the same way we scientists do, but they clearly understand that. So when we you know, show them, look how these different pest groups interact, they, they 
you know, I think comes to their, to their everyday language. So the only thing we did was a formal way to, f uh, to find a way how to make management recommendations. They know that prawns interact in the fields and they need to maximize uh, their solution based on multivariates at the same time.